Welcome to another edition of Credit Matters TV. My name is Philip Bagley. I'm a Managing Director in S&P Corporate Ratings. I'm joined by Betsy Snyder, Director in that department. On September 30th, we affirmed our ratings on International Lease Finance Corporation, the world's second largest aircraft leasing company, and remove those ratings from Credit Watch. Betsy is the primary analyst on International Lease Finance, which goes by ILFC, and we're here to talk about that rating action. Betsy, ILFC is currently owned by AIG, American International Group, but AIG is in the process of trying to sell them or IPO them. Mm -hmm. So how do we factor the parental situation of AIG in our rating? Well, previously, we had given um, one notch of parental support in our rating of ILFC. We had a standalone credit profile of double B plus, and then with the one notch of support, it, came, it brought it up to triple B minus. Now, we um, have um, come out with some criteria recently, the group uh, rating methodology, that indicates that if a company is expected to be held for a long time, then uh, we can give them one notch of support from the parent. However, with the proposed sale of the company, that criteria no longer uh, qualifies the company for one notch of support in the rating. Okay, so in the rating action we just took, uh, what, what happened to that notch of support? So, as I indicated, we had a standalone credit profile of ra rating of double B plus, and then with the one notch support from AIG, it brought the rating to triple B minus. So now, what we've done is, we believe that the triple B minus rating is um, appropriate for this company, and on a standalone basis, and we have withdrawn the one notch of support. So the rating is actually the same as it was before, but it's now at that rating level without the one notch from parental support. Okay, so we raised our standalone credit profile from double B plus to triple B minus, which is now also where the rating is at. Uh, now, what was behind that move? Well, behind it was the fact that the company's credit metrics are in line with other similarly rated uh, aircraft leasing companies. We do have, we have two others that are rated uh, triple B minus, and then we have another one that has a standalone credit profile of double B plus, and with one notch support similar to um, the ILFC previous situation. And in addition, the company has done a good job in refinancing its debt and extending its debt maturities, which had been a concern of ours. Okay, so you mentioned some of the other uh, aircraft leasing companies. How does ILFC compare to them, and what are these other companies that you mentioned? Okay, the other two companies are AirLease and AirCap. And as I said, they both have triple B minus uh, ratings, similar to ILFC. The other one is ACG, Aviation Capital, which is owned by Pacific Life, and that is the one that we do give one notch support in their rating. Now, the credit metrics of Air Lease and Air Cap, which are the ones we focused on, are very similar to ILFC's, uh, the debt uh, EBITDA interest coverage is in the high two times area. FFO to debt is about 10 to 11 percent. Where it does differ is that in the debt to capital, um, ILFCs is more similar to AirCap in the about 73 percent, whereas Air Leases is below 70 percent. However, we do expect that uh, debt to capital for them to increase as they do uh, more debt financed aircraft acquisitions. Okay, so they're all at triple B minus now. Yes. And uh, generally equivalent. Now, um, AIG is still in the process of trying to um, sell or IPO ILFC. So what happens when something of that sort finally does come to pass? Well, uh, in December, uh, AIG announced that it, it had reached an agreement to sell ILFC 
to a consortium of Chinese investors. The transaction was supposed to happen uh, by the end of June. It was subsequently extended to July 31st, and so far, nothing has happened. Now, in the meantime, AIG has sold, has um, updated their S1 filing for a potential IPO. They did that just about a month ago. So there is that potential that that could still happen. Or there's also the, a potential that maybe uh, they find another buyer for the company as well. Um, if that's, we will uh, certainly take a look at whatever happens in any of those cases. Okay, so what um, then is the outlook that we currently have on the rating and what might affect that in terms of its future ownership? Well, we have a negative outlook on the company and that's based on uncertainty of who the potential owner would be. I just talked about the three mm -hmm. potential possibilities. So uh, when, and it's not a question of if because AIG has indicated that this is not a core asset, so they want to divest this company. So when we have more information, more clarity as to when we think, as to what the future will be for the future ownership of ILFC will be, we will certainly take a look at that and take a look at what the uh, credit profile of the company would be. And that would include the financial policies of the potential um, acquirer and uh, also what their credit metrics might look like. So still to be determined. Okay, good. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching Credit Matters TV.